Hold me close by the fire, babe. Jump inside somewhere in the sleigh. Please don't turn my skies to gray. That's all I'm saying is, I need you under the mistletoe. I need you when the snows are hold you close. I need you. Welcome back to our channel. It's your boy Breeze and your girl Raylene, and we're back with another video. If you guys are new to our channel, you've never seen our faces, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn that bell on so you're notified every single time we post a recent Ray video. Guys, we're feeling some type of way right now. It is day one of Vlogmas. This Maybe. month is gonna be so much fun. It's I'm gonna be so a jam-packed, it's like a family-filled month. We're super excited for the month. It's our favorite month, actually. <laughs> yeah, so this is actually probably going to be one of our only like sit-down videos for this, this month. Yeah. We have so much stuff planned for you guys. We already wrote out like our entire calendar, so we know like What's to come this What's time. to come and kind of like video ideas and stuff so we can give you guys bangers. In the last video, we told you guys that we will tell you guys our schedule for the month of December. Of course, we are not going to be doing every other day. We apologize for every that. Every single day. I mean, we're not going to be doing every single day. We apologize for that. So our schedule is going to be every other day starting today. So you guys get a video today, not tomorrow, but the next day and so forth. And it's going to be kind of the same way around... Uh, Christmas as well. So basically today we're gonna give you guys an updated Q&A. We kind of just want to touch on um, Some things we have great videos coming. I'm super duper excited Even for her channel too. And for my channel too. If you guys aren't subscribed in Go the description down below. So to start off Do we want to wait to tell them about Let's just start right now. Let's just say it right now. Okay. So basically, my period was late. And I'm not talking one day. I'm not talking two days. It was three days late. And we were like freaking out in a way, but not really. We wouldn't have been mad for we sure. We wouldn't be upset. We would be, we would be like prepared, of course, but like it caught us off guard because we're not like trying. It was just super weird to me and I guess it's because my cycle restarted TMI but like it's on a different time now. Long story short, it's negative, I'm not pregnant but we did have a pregnancy scare. Okay, so Raylene posted and let you guys know we are going to be doing updated Q&A and you guys are asking questions. some good questions and so we're going to answer that for you. We haven't done an updated Q&A in a while and it's the end of the year so why not update you guys? Any vacation plans coming up? We want to go to Chicago to see our friend Indira and Sean we want to go visit them so that's something that I'm looking forward to for sure that I really well we both are that we want to do we've talked about it we haven't really started planning yet just because we want to get through December and obviously we're gonna be staying here for December because we got we got a lot going on we want to go to New York she wants to go for her birthday I want to go to New so York for my birthday, birthday which is in February but we'll see because I'm always changing my birthday plans and I gotta start planning like now what I want to do for my birthday no <laughs> she likes to plan like three time. months early this was like the most planning I did. No, I didn't even plan. It's because last year I took over your birthday for you basically because I had stuff for you and then the year before that too because I threw you a surprise party. Yeah. And then last year I did a surprise dinner and you knew exactly where we were going. Next yeah, question. Toxic relationships in the past and how did that affect your relationship now? Mm -hmm. I can answer first. I've never been in a relationship but I've been around all my friends that have like grown up in relationships back to back to back and so like I kind of know like the jits to how like what's what you should do and what you should not do. I feel like I kind of have a good look at, at relationships. Like our relationship, I feel like is really strong. Of course, like the past couple of years or like honestly, like our first two years, we were like getting to know each other and getting to know what we didn't like and what we did like and what would upset the other person or whatever and so it's crazy because you've never been in a relationship but i feel like you know more about how a relationship should be and how like each other we should be treated i guess you can say and i feel like i learned a lot from you being in our relationship even though i've been in other relationships before isn't that weird that's how it's supposed to work yeah so my past relationship was very toxic and mentally like draining as well and i feel like some of it did carry on 
just because of like the trauma from that relationship it was hard for me to express my feelings and like my feelings didn't feel like validated or you know they didn't seem important and then just trust as well because not that I didn't trust Jordan but it's just you do get those second thoughts because you're like okay like I've been in this situation before and I thought it was gonna be like this and then it being like that you know just stuff like that but you definitely helped me a lot with like trusting and like just bettering our relationship and just communication like that was the number one thing that I literally just couldn't do I'm just the type of person like I just tell people how it is like no matter what because the truth hurts but it's also better down the road too and I wasn't used to that like I was just so used to like manipulation and like words instead of actions and like with you like you meant what you said and like if there was something that bothered me you worked on it and I like I still to this day see you fixing things all the time yeah. that was a good question how do you explain to your daughters about getting all this plastic surgery our daughters are literally four and five well I, I would I was gonna say six because it now Ileana does understand she does that know. She my, had surgery on her butt. But the girls tell me every day when I'm doing my makeup, they'll be like, Mommy, you're so beautiful. You don't need to do your makeup. Like, they realize that natural and everything like that is, you know, beauty. But if they're old enough and they're out of my house and they ever wanted to get surgery, I'm not going to be against it. Like, it's hurt their body. And as long as they know enough and they know about the surgery they want and stuff like that, like, I'm not going to be like, Oh my gosh. No, of course. No, we're surgery not gonna, is so bad. We're not going to let them do any like crazy shit to their yeah. body but if they want to enhance a little bit of things and they're grown and they're paying for shit themselves they can enhance whatever they want but really didn't get no crazy ass surgery honestly to explain to them we didn't really have to explain anything because really they're didn't too come young out i'm not gonna like be shit. like hey baby mommy went and got a bbl because she wanted a fat ass okay <laughs> like i'm not gonna sit there and explain to my five-year-old daughter and four-year-old daughter of course when they're older and they ask like i'm gonna be like i popped you guys out you guys freaking what's funny made is my if, body we look never, different. if we never made a video or announced that she got a bbl i guarantee you nobody would notice like that there's a lot of people that don't even know that she has a bbl names for future baby we I can't don't give out our that. names now, I want it to be a surprise for everybody. We have like a few and names And I don't want to speak we... it into existence and then boom, that name's taken. Yeah, no, we definitely have put names in our notes. You guys, trust us. We've thought, we're, like, it's a thought and it's in our plan, you know, to have another kid. But yeah, we do sometimes we'll like stumble across names and we'll lay in bed and just talk about life and stuff like that. Will you stay at that home forever? No, we're renting right now. Um, we didn't buy this home. We did renew, so we are going to be here for a little longer, mm -hmm. but we're not looking to buy anytime soon. There's no rush in buying because we're the type of people like Jordan hey, I gets am, bored. I get bored <laughs> fast, but I know her in a, in, a, in another year, she's going to be ready to get out of here and well, try I mean, out somewhere else. Well, if we expand our family and stuff like that, like I don't really like the layout of this house. The only thing that I don't like about the layout is I don't like that our room is on the other side of the house there are some houses where it's like they are a little bit closer like you literally have to go through the living room and the kitchen to get to our room and if something happens how am i supposed to just go through the living room and the kitchen and then get I'll to the girls break room. this wall i'm gonna run Ooh. through the wall i don't know i just overthink sometimes and it freaks me out that their room is over here you know what iliana told me the other day she wants a painting room she's like i want a painting room for myself and Mila can't go in there and I was like that's cute like she wants her own little uh -huh. space and I feel like that's very important especially as she's getting older and Mila too like we were just talking about it today that we feel like they do need a lot more like one-on-one -on -one time with both of us and stuff so they are two different kids like Illy she is more of like the understanding one like and she's... I feel like she's just more chill sometimes yeah too. Illy is easy to explain stuff to and like because she gets mm -hmm. it but Mila on the other hand she doesn't understand stuff like really well she is considered a highly sensitive child and so when one thing doesn't go her way she will cry we've like read up on it and done our research and stuff and literally we we're just doing some of our research this morning on it because for the past like few days she has been crying oh, every wow. time it's time to lay down she's been crying when she wakes up because she didn't sleep enough and a lot of it is just us telling her no and explaining to her like okay we can't do this today because it's a school week blah blah, blah. or even something as small as no you can't have any more sweets because you 
you've already had a sweet snack or whatever it is and it literally goes from zero to 100 really quick and she just starts bawling her eyes out and we're just trying to figure out how we can just understand her and have her understand us like no means no you're not always going to get a yes and you need to like listen part of it has to do is she's the baby and she honestly does get babied a lot Ileana went through that phase though she did go through but that phase but she grew up but a she lot wasn't faster. as bad though like her crying and stuff didn't last as long as it has for Ileana's crying was literally only when it was time to leave somewhere but like yeah. literally I think it was like one talk that we had with her and after that she was fine like but every kid's different that's what we're always trying to like figure out like Illy's obviously not gonna do the same things that Myla does and they're gonna grow and learn and everything in their own way so we're just like okay now we gotta figure out what we can do and stuff like that yeah and we really don't want to like bribe them either because I feel like they should just be like listening sometimes we'll be like okay how about this if we can get this room cleaned up and blah 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 then we're gonna go to the park like stuff like that but not like if you do this i'm gonna go buy you a toy like we don't want to buy them because then they're only gonna do it to get the toy and then it yeah. might not even change so where do you find your leggings at lately my go-to leggings have been airy leggings because they're not a-e-r-i-e -E. a-e-r-i i think e no yeah i don't know lately i've been getting my leggings from there because they're not see-through and i just love the way they feel and they also have seamless ones and they're my favorite so how do you feel about uh birth control i'm not against it i'm not against it for sure i was on it personally i did not like it at all because i felt like it was a lot harder for me to control like my emotions and also a lot the of type it. of birth control and the type of birth control too well i mean i got pregnant on the pill so that was definitely a no after i had my i was like i need to do the shot or something and so and the pill i feel like it's you have to be so on it and consistent because if you forget you have to restart and then like it's just a mess and i didn't like it and then when i did the depo i felt like it was stronger and like i really couldn't control my feelings and like i felt like a lot of it had to do with hormones i mean all of your hormones just go crazy on birth control but it was just i didn't like it and then like if i was was sad like it was like zero to a hundred sad like if sometimes i'd even have a reason to be sad and i just didn't like the way it made me feel it made me gain weight now isn't this crazy when you take tylenol take it and it's out your system within like six hours the depo it's one shot in that for liquid stays in your system for three months and prevents a human being from and being... it hurts like it feels your arm feels so sore after what's one thing you discovered your partner does when you moved in together uh he definitely has like a very specific shower routine that's for sure he's not really good with picking up after himself Bro. Like, sometimes you'll start something and Bro. you'll leave it. You do! Like, literally, he'll get out the shower, dry himself off, and just throw the towel on the floor on the bed. And I always tell him, you need to hang it up because it's not going to dry. It's going to stink if it just sits there wet. And then he's always like, babe, I need a towel. And I'm like, well, if you would hang up your towel, you wouldn't be asking me for a towel. Okay, one thing though. What I... do I do? Raylene will, right before she gets in the shower, she'll take her clothes off. And two steps to the left is the laundry basket. But she'll oh my leave, gosh. No, no, listen, she'll leave her clothes right there in front of the shower. If You're I, so cap. You are so cap. I do not. We're going to make this I, video. Even if after I get off the shower, I pick them up all the time. Like she's there's so right many. Now. He can't even talk to me about cleaning. I don't want to hear it. She's capping right now. You're cap. She's, You're cap. She's, so. <laughs> cap as fuck. How did you guys know you were ready to move in together? We said two words. Fuck it. No, stop. Literally, May 18th, I was like, you're not leaving. He was already, like, living in his apartment, and I had my place, but I was like, he would spend the night a lot, and then, like, he would go back home, but literally the same night that he thought he wanted to go back home, he would just end up back in my apartment. We just knew we didn't want to be without each other. Yeah. Like, we didn't, what's the point in sleeping separate when, like, we're together, you want to be my boyfriend, I want to be your girlfriend, like... And we were just grown, like, we were ready. Biggest relationship advice. It can only be one thing, one word. Communication. And trust. Trust would be mine. Okay. Trust there you go. Communication. communication and trust. Now, trust has to be gained, obviously. You can't just like go off the bat and like trust the person that you're that you want to live with. But it's with crazy because, because me, I put my trust in someone and until they mess up or do little things that make me question your trust, then that's when I'm like, okay, like now I'm gonna fall back and I don't know if I can I don't know if I trust you enough for this or that. You think people should earn their trust? I think it's more so of like, 
I'm not gonna like look at that person or like my first and time meeting like, him and be like, I trust you. But, but like, we're talking about relationship, not like friends. Still, I mean still? like, yeah, like we were in our talking stages and I don't think we trusted each other. And it was just because we were in our talking stages. I trusted then, you. I'm saying like before May 18th, Oh. We're kind of talking, feeling each other out. We, I didn't even think about like trust at that moment. Like I, that was not my main concern. My main concern well, was getting her you, to like me. The reason for that is because when you're talking to somebody, you don't off the bat think like, okay, I need to trust them or they need to earn my trust. But it's also, it's like feeling the water, I guess, or testing. But the also, water. there has to be a little bit of trust because you let me come over and I let you come over to my mom's house. Yeah, I would say communication and trust. Honestly, last question because it's December and because it's Vlogmas, are we decorating? this year for Christmas. Of course, every of year course. it would not be Christmas if we did not decorate. That's like the biggest part of Christmas. And we will be filming it, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that video. It's gonna be coming out within this week because obviously it's gotta be the beginning. It's Vlogmas! Vlog Sing it. And that's why. It's Vlogmas! Oh! Our Christmas intro is back. Honestly, we're gonna end the video out with our Christmas intro, but we started it with our Christmas intro also. We love you guys so much. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Got a lot of bangers this month. We're just gonna keep saying it because you guys are going to be seeing a lot of our family in these videos. If you wanna know kind of like what we did for our last Vlogmas, go back to our old videos and watch those on the days that we don't post. Love you guys, we out this thing. Once again, go subscribe to her channel. It's in the description box down below. Go subscribe to my music channel. It's in the description down below. I got a surprise for music this month. Love y'all. Bye. Hold me close by the fire, babe. Jump inside somewhere in the sleigh. Please don't turn my skies to gray. That's all I'm saying is, I need you.